have a look at it. Have a look at what they've given you. A new car has a fuel consumption of 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. This means it requires 7.2 litres of petrol to travel 100 kilometres. It's pretty obvious, yeah? Everyone happy with fuel consumption? Okay. How much fuel is required for a journey of 1134? First things first. Let's start defining the variables. Remember, in the previous ones, we had to find a proportional statement, then make an equation with the constant of variation in it, and then find the constant of variation. But in the last question, they gave us the constant of variation as a rate of height to mass. What have we got given in this question? Sorry, what have we been given in this question? What have we been given? What are they? In a way, that's exactly what we're going to do, but I want to try and do it in the same sort of way we've been doing the others. So you're, you're, wrong, you're right, you would get the right answer, but let's work out how to do it this way first. Okay, what do we have to do? Do we need to write the proportional statement? Why not? The proportional statement's not there, is it, Levi? Levi, proportional statement's not there, is it? Do we need to write it? People have said no. I don't mind, we can, we don't have to. First thing we've got to do is define variables. Because you can't write a proportional statement without the variables. What are our two variables going to be? <laughs> Litres and kilometres are the units. So what should our variables be? I need variables. When we did height and mass, we didn't use centimetres and kilograms. Sorry? When we measure kilometres, what are we measuring? So what could we use? When we measure litres, we are measuring that. But you could say fuel. You could say capacity. You could say L for litres. It doesn't really matter. You could say J, but let's not. We're going to try not. Okay. Honestly, if you want your wedding stationery done, call me after school. Jake wants your wedding stationery done. Jake and Dylan, forever, together with lambs and Brahmin on a John Deere tractor. <laughs> you don't like John Deere? New Holland for you? Case. Case IH. Because he has a case of IH. Um, all right. Let's just define variables. Let, just for giggles, let's call it L for litres, so the amount of litres used, or F for fuel, it doesn't really matter, and we'll use D for distance. Everyone happy with that? So if you were writing the proportional statement, that's what you'd have. Litres is directly proportional to the distance travelled. Cool? Do we really need to do that? Not in this particular question. Why? What have they given us? What have they given us? Thank you, Levi Dillon. What have they given us? What have they given us in the question? Because you all said numbers. Honestly, you should be able to look at that and go, wow, 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. That's a rate. Uh, well done. They've given us your constant of variation. They have given you your rate. What they've said is your litres over your distance equals 7.2. Sorry. They've given you your litres over your distance equals what? 
per 100 kilometres. Sorry, I forgot to write that bit. It's not 7.2. Litres over distance is 7.2 over 100. Yeah? Cool. Now, Surly, what did you want to do earlier? Okay. Which is what that's doing anyway. So if we wrote, wrote this as the equation, we could have litres equals 0.072 D. All I've done is divide that by 100. I've just written it as a decimal. Okay. But now I've just written it so that it's in the same form of the equation that you're used to. We have our K. It is 0 0.072. Happy with that? We've just rearranged it so it looks like the ones that we've done throughout. Now, you weren't here yesterday, so you missed a couple of them. But we always had it in the form of H equals KM. So, or whatever, or Y equals KX. So, Y is directly proportional to X. Okay, it's a proportional statement. And then you rewrite it as an equation. Y equals the constant of variation times X. It is the proportion in which y will change compared to x. Okay, it doesn't matter what x value I put in there, I have to times it by this constant of variation to get my y. So if, it, if that constant of variation was 5, y would always be 5 times y. Sorry, y would always be 5 times x. Okay? If that constant of variation was pi, which it was in our first example, then y would always be pi times x. Cool? So we've just been writing it like that throughout, so I'm just keeping it in the same format. So L equals K times D. Cool? And your constant of variation is that. So it doesn't matter what D is, you have to times it by 0 0.072 to get L. Cool? Everyone happy with that? Excellent. All right, so we now have to find a journey of 1,134 kilometres. So what do we do? So now we're just going back to that thing. We've already written down our formula. We've written down what we know. We're now substituting in and solving. Yeah, because that's your distance. So you should have got 81.65 litres. All good with that? All right. Now, the next one tripped a few people up in the year 12s. I shouldn't say a few people. There's only four of them. No, no, no. Tripped up all of them. Okay. The previous model of the same car had a fuel consumption of 7.8 litres per 100 kilometre. Which model is more economical to run? I'm just going to get you to ignore that for a sec. I got a car that's 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. I got a car that's 7.8 litres. Which one's more economical? Or 7.2? 7.2 one's more economical. Economical. Why? It uses less petrol per 100 kilometres. Because it's got that round answers to two decimal places. So they did what you said and did it again with the 7.8. And the thing was, you didn't need to, because the question just says which one's got a better fuel consumption. Kind of. That round answers to two decimal places actually should be on the line down here, so it relates to the whole question, because at the moment it looks as though it relates to just part B. But you'll notice I did mine to two decimal places. Does that make sense? But that question, honestly, the newer model... is 0 0.6 litres per 100 kilometres more fuel efficient. Does that make sense? Happy with that? 